Welcome back to Force Education, this is Ed. Today, we're talking about one that I haven't talked about in forever, Lucid Group. This company here I've covered significantly even before their merger, and today covers once in a forever. Actually, last time was August 1st when it was around $24. And I mentioned I do believe this one to be in the 40s, and here we are again at $40. So it's definitely another kind of video that will recap what happened in these months, as well as where we see this one going. If you don't believe or if you don't know about Lucid, Lucid is the next or seen as the next EV disruptor after Tesla into the luxurious realm of uh, the EV market. And if you've watched the presentations or seen any of my videos, they definitely throw shade onto Tesla as being, well, EV, it's kind of EV, but not luxury. And so their main mission here is to bring luxury into ev into a sustainable kind of market and overall so currently some of their key statistics they have more than thirteen thousand uh, reservation and that increased up to seventeen thousand as of november 15 2021 over 1.3 billion dollars in estimated booking and around almost five billion dollars on cash on hand so you're able to see as well certified by EPA for 520 miles range for Lucid Air Dream Edition R and commence phase two of construction at the AMP1 facility to add 2.85 million square feet of space and customer vehicle production started in quarter three already for uh, or in Casa Grande, Arizona. Now, their innovative in-house design delivers 100 plus miles more range than the closer competitor so that's a bit of shade as well there. Um, and you're able to see it's it's not a bad car at all. It's actually a very nice car overall. Their design is very stream, uh, streamlined. And you're able to see already if you live in some of the hubs, hus, sorry, uh, hot spots of uh, just basically luxury areas, you might have already seen some of their showrooms around, or at least over videos. And they have around 13 locations and key geographies. Uh, geographical locations that align with Lucid's expected customer demand. Now, they have more than 150 customers, and members of media and institutional investments, and a sell side analyst, among other Lucid stakeholders for manufacturing highlights. They also already, again, we already mentioned the kickoff for the facility upgrade for 2.85 million square feet. In terms of the total assets, you're able to see year over year. Of course, things are looking a lot better after. Uh, this reverse merger although net loss is a lot worse because they've been spending a lot of money with expansions and production so that is definitely expected they're giving you some pictures here and there for the productions this is in pro in productions cars almost being done uh, so that's always kind of a nice look to kind of know from investors that the things are working on but in terms of the latest press releases they currently on december 13th join uh, the NASDAQ 100 index and it'll be effective prior on to next Monday on December 20th, 2021. Now, they also priced a $1.75 billion convertible senior notes offering. Uh, again, this is kind of normal, but offerings and raising a lot of money like this is very prominent, even companies like Tesla, which have done that earlier this year, I believe somewhere early in the summer. Um, other than that, Things are just on schedule. They are mentioning uh, things. Well, they already mentioned their third quarter results for right here. Announced third quarter financial results and Lucid Air wins the 2022 motor trend car of the year. And some of their highlights, including customer reservation, again, to 13,000 in quarter three um, and going on beyond 17,000. Now, in terms of their mileage and everything, everything looks good um, as promised before and it is currently more verified now in terms of other things such as uh fundamentals how does it compare price over sales last year they didn't really sell a single car so it's going to definitely look horrible Eighty nine thousand six hundred and forty five. so that's insane valuation but again you got to remember this is a year kind of tracking one ttm is on over the year so you will have to consider mainly 2022 to 2021 wasn't much of sales as compared to what they're anticipating in 2022. Price over book is 13.26. That might not really put things into context unless you start taking a look, let's say, at Tesla. 
Tesla price of her book is 35.87. So Lucid Motors, based on the price of her book that they have, is currently around one third of the valuation of Tesla. So technically, if it was to reach the Tesla hype, this price point would be around 120 to reach that Tesla hype based on price of her book. A lot of people are taking a look at price of her sales. They haven't done a lot of sales already, um, and that will come in by time. Now, in terms of institutional buyers, you see a lot of bullish activity coming from institutions. People are adding and institutions are adding, and that's always, always a bullish thing to see. Now, before moving on towards technical analysis, if you would like to see more contents like this, make sure to click the subscribe button and leave notifications on and don't forget the like button. Let's move on towards technical analysis. From a technical analysis standpoint of view, what we're seeing here is things are actually looking a lot more bullish than a lot of people anticipate. 10 SMA is above 30 MA, so moving averages is still bullish onto this one. 50 SMA is above the uh, 200 SMA, so again, very bullish. And the price point is above the 50 SMA and the 200 SMA, making it still a bullish run. Now, William Percent R, which is very similar to Relative Strength Index, is showing that this one is in fact over sold meaning there's more supply than there is demand at the current time being macd is curving upwards showcasing there's a strong chance for a reversal for this one at some point in the future perhaps in the coming weeks or so now momentum is negative negative 10.85 but it's increasing and increased from negative 15 so it still has a chance to kind of bounce upwards and still push forward stochastic fast and stochastic slow what we're seeing into those, this one here is that they're both curving a bit upwards, suggesting a bit of an increase in that kind of momentum, a further push on or more of a bounce back. Now, in terms of the moving average bands, this one is anticipated to trade between 52.84 and 43.23. Currently, it's below there, but haven't broken the Bollinger Band at 36.33 at the bottom. Now, Fibonacci tracements showcases there's significant support at 3743, 3096, 2295, and 1001. Resistances 4390, 5312, and 6486. Now from just a standard point of view, price line actions were able to see a critical support at 4036. If it breaks it, got another one 3894 and then downwards to 3699, going to 3557, and then 3406 going downwards to 3211 and then 2793 2509 24 21 2261 and then 2137 1933 and 1720 followed by 1666 resistances a few of them at 4133 followed by 4480 followed by 4648 4799 going up to 5021, 5536, and then 5775, and 6210. Comes to the question, Ed, what do you think about this one? Well, first, analyst recommendation. This one here currently has a $16 price target with Adam Jones from Morgan Stanley five days ago with a sell. Now, Citigroup has a $57 price target with a buy, and John Murphy from Bank of America Securities gave it a buy last month at $60. So it's a bit mixed. Currently, it's a moderate buy with two buys and one sell with an average price target of $44.33, around 8% upside from where we're at right now. Now, comes to the question, again, what do you think about this one? Well, this is a company that I do believe that is, in fact, if it was to reach the hype of Tesla, it would be around 120, 110, 120. But I do already believe Tesla to be a bit overvalued. And I do think this one is somewhere around the stable level, perhaps anywhere between $30 and $40. But it can easily drop back to uh, $20 with volumes in different markets in general. For instance, increase off the interest can really affect this one in the US uh, as they still have some debt on there uh, that they can easily pull off. But overall, these companies really are affected by interest and that can easily drop this one off. But overall, they have enough cash to easily fill you any debt they have. They just literally put some offerings. So they're in a good place. 
And overall, in long term, I don't think they're going to be in a bad place. I think this company would most likely even hit above $40 in the longer term. What do you think about this ticker? Make sure to down in the comments below. Share, subscribe, and like, and have a wonderful day. Now, if you're still here on this video, make sure to drop down below and join our Discord. We have a lot of different things going on, including, for instance, members that gives picks for free. It's not pump and dumps. We just things we think about, swings, etc. We also have really exciting bots. Uh, you can actually use those ones. For instance, we're just testing out this bot, for instance, that gives you Fibonacci resistance points, activities, etc. And we have a bunch of free things, totally free. We run on tips here, and you can ask me questions, suggest stocks, etc. It's a really nice community that has been growing up uh, very fast at a very good rate, and it's totally free. If you would like to join that one, feel free to do so in the description below, and have a wonderful day.